Networks. Networks are a group of two or more computer systems linked together. There are different types of networks, local area networks, Bluetooth, and wide area networks. First of all, local area networks. In this, computers can communicate and share information between them. They can also share peripheral devices such as printers. The computers are usually located in the same area and can be used as independent personal computers or as workstations. The workstations are connected through a server. This does multiple jobs, such as running the network operating system and allows sharing to other computers. Here are some of the advantages of using a LAN. Pause now to read through them. Now for the disadvantages. Just like before, pause now to read. There are two types of LANs, client server and peer-to-peer. -peer. Client server has designated servers to cater to clients, whereas peer-to-peer -peer uses direct communication between computers. LANs can be set up in two ways, cabled and wireless. Pause now for detailed information on how each of them work. Next is Bluetooth. Bluetooth is wireless communication that enables devices to share information and sync data. The devices require transceiver chips and they must be within about a 10 meter range. Next, wide area networks. They operate over a large area such as cities. Data is transmitted through high speed telephone lines, fiber optic cables, microwave links and satellite links. They are usually used by companies, universities and banks with branches in different countries. The final topic we'll discuss is data transmission, which is the transmission of data from one location to another. A data communication system is made up of hardware, software and communication facilities. The channels are classified by bandwidth, which determines the volume of transmission in a certain time. As said before, there are different bandwidths. Narrowband uses a telephone line and an analog modem and dials up to connect to the internet. Broadband is transmission using an asymmetric digital subscriber line and cable. But how does it work? It uses the modem which converts digital signals to analog signals and back. Now here are four questions to test your knowledge. Pause now to answer.